Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Premier League, mainly their websites and how they look. So the main things that we're going to be looking at are the look of the website, the functionality, booking tickets and the news. We'll be ranking them, but if you want to check out your team, the time codes will be in the description down below. But before we begin the video, why not hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And let's just jump straight into it. We have the Arsenal page here, and my first glance is it looks very clean. Not gonna lie, very clean website. I really like the faded red that pops up on all the images around. Oh, this one, don't know why it doesn't do it on this one. On the rest, that looks really nice. So the top part, the header, where all the menu bars drops down and tells you that what's coming up. So you can instantly see. So on Teams, really like the fact that you've got all these names popped down and then you can click on each one if you need to and it brings up information about them that is really really nice when you look down at like tickets and membership which you want to buy your ticket click it tells you exactly what matches which is perfect so you can see what's going on straight away click on the buy now takes you to another page and then you can obviously buy your tickets there it's very straightforward if i want to see the history i can click down on each one on the new site brings up some information here, which is basically very simple. I click on it, it tells me. Now, I really wish that the font was better. I do wish that all of this was kind of spaced out. And they could utilize the space more. And for Arsenal, they get a six. Right, here we go, Aston Villa is next. This is a site which I kind of like, and I kind of don't like, but let's have a look at the website in general. It's very clean at the very top if they got rid of this part here i think that you could have had the matches more in depth rather than featured news etc etc i like the fact that you can see the kind of match reports for you, you've had in the past and then obviously some stuff coming up very very soon that they keep it up to date perfect the news online today very straightforward now when it drops down to the menu here it looks nice it's the blue stands out the font works really, really well with it. And I like the fact that I can see the teams. And again, if I want to click on them, I can do. It takes me to another page, shows me all the information. I really do like this. This is awesome that someone's keeping up to date and keeping it there. That is a very nice touch, which I don't think I've seen for many sites that I've done. If I want to click on tickets, I can click on tickets. It takes me straight to the page and I can go literally home tickets, Done. So last of all, let's look at the news. It brings down in a drop down menu, which is fine. I can actually see what I want and then I can click on anything. If I want to go to the latest, it brings it up. Now, I do think they could easily have spaced these out a bit and actually made them more interesting for me to go to. Click on one, takes me straight there, keeps all the information precise. I can see everything. And that's what I like. Aston Villa gets a five. Bournemouth is next. Now, Looking at the website, it looks really good. I, I, I will not fault that. The only problem though, is that it looks like a blogging website. Like it could be a fan-made site. It doesn't tell me much at all. And one thing is by looking down at the menus, you think that maybe they drop down like all the other teams, but they don't. Let's have a look at, let's say, matches. This is one thing I really don't like. Now the font and all that stand out. I would have had all the matches all here rather than having to go to a sub menu right here. But once you do, it looks really, really nice. It looks clean, it looks it looks fancy. It's just the fact that you have to go through so many hoops to get to one part. Some of the key features is the fact that you have to have an account if you want to watch any of the stuff, any interviews or anything going on. Uh, I would have had this left normally so I could click and watch what I want rather than having to sign in an account because I could be on on the run, I could be doing anything. Why is it like this? But tickets is the main thing, quite simple. Everything's boxed normally. Apart from this one, I generally don't like, I don't know what's going on with that box. That's <laughs> just why. Click on ticket news, takes you directly information. If I wanna buy tickets online, it takes me to a really nice kind of page. And again, graphics are really, really nice. So with that, going to click on news. Again, it feels like it's a very, like a blog post. When I click here, it does bring up a really nice kind of like graphic, but everything is not in line with it. Bournemouth, 
five. They're getting a cheeky five. Brighton, what can I say about Brighton? Looking at the page, the bottom part of this looks fine. I generally think it looks really nice. The only problem, graphics. That's one thing I don't like about these graphics. They just look really bad and out of place. When looking at the drop down menus, there's not a lot there. I thought, again, you'd have the drop down menu so you can see, but you have to actually click on it to see anything. It makes it so much easier just having a roll down or, or anything like that so you can really properly like navigate around. Now the site is actually kind of slow to respond. I generally thought it'd be quite fast rather than just like taking time. So for me, I'm kind of off part that I may want to go look at other things right now. It does swap, which I, I like this sort of animation, but it's not what I kind of want. You have a sub menu at the top, which then consists of buying, buying your tickets and it takes you straight to the page, which is quite nice. It has a very nice kind of layout. I don't really like these graphics. They're the ones that really kind of put me off a lot. I mean, even this, like the images, like that one just coming down slowly. What's up with that? And look at the latest news and see what that's like. Kind of does bring out in, in slow boxes. It's fine. I kind of like this. Just wish they'd get rid of the motion graphics because it's not something that they need. But I do like the fact that the image pops up. It's very concise. It's quick to read, like if you're just on the run. And for Brighton, they get a five. So we're now on Burnley and I've got to admit, I really don't like this website. The look of it is very plain and dull. There is nothing there. The colors at the bottom, it seems like they've put more color at the bottom than they have done anywhere else. Now, if you're looking around the website and you kind of really want to see this, this, what is up with this? It feels like there's too much information on here straight away. I don't like it. It's very hard to navigate around. It shouldn't be that hard. You could easily put it into subcategories rather than have it all on the screen at once. I want to buy my tickets. Let's have a look at that. Opens in the new tab. Now, if you look at the, sh the store, this looks really nice. This is how I think the website should be rather than just having just a mess everywhere. I wouldn't know where to go if I wanted to look quick or if I was actually taking my time. It just feels like there isn't anything and it could easily be done. Burnley, I'm sorry Burnley, it's a one. Chelsea, here we go. Chelsea, first of all off the bat, I'm gonna say I really hate this font around here. I don't know why they went with it. When you come down to the other parts of the website, like it, it's clear that the fonts work well. They really do. It stands out and it works really nice. One thing I will say is I really like this box here. I think that the blue going around the darker blue works well, it catches your eye. So when you roll over, you're like, oh, I'm gonna read that. That I like. You have the normal bar here at the, uh, the uh, header. That looks really cool. And you also have your kind of sub menu, which brings like things down. Again, is really, really nice. So if I want to go and have a look at tickets, I can do. And it also gives me, like, if I buy tickets. The layout for this is very nice. It is very simple, but it's a very effective where I can easily go buy tickets for this. But it also tells me if it's sold out straight away so that I don't have to waste my time to get to the checkout and it's all gone. Coming back to the top looking at news, again, we see more of the blue bar. I really like this. The news is very interesting. Comes out, one click, takes me here. Now, this is where they could spend a bit more time, I think because right now that doesn't look well. The rest of the site is fine, but apart from that, Chelsea gets a lovely, lovely seven. Right, let's look at Crystal Palace. What's up with this website? It looks, I had to double click to make sure I got this right because this to me felt like it was a fan site as well. Let's have a look, like looking at the bars dropping down, that's quite nice. That works really, really well. Brings up what I want, can easily go to it. You have a place here, I quite like, you've got fans, you've got your matches, and then you've got your tickets. It works really, really well. I'm going to look at tickets. Take me directly to where I want to go. And I really like, see, this is what, I, I don't know why shops look so much better than actual website. This stands out, even though this red bar could be a lot lower, and you can move these down here. But at least I can go season tickets takes me directly to them. I can choose my seats. I want to look at the news of the website next. And again, it feels like nothing has changed. So you're taken directly to the news, straight. Crystal Palace for the terms of use, for the way it is, I'm going to give them 
a six. Everton, right. Everton's site is a very clear, clean website. It says exactly where I need to go. It has everything that I kind of really want. I do love here that I can see the last match, I can see the next match, and then the upcoming matches. Again, I, I, I wish that most of these websites did. Everything looks clean. I like the animations that you've got at the, the bottom of the images. That looks fine to me. That looks really, really nice. Don't know why that bar is there. I, I feel like these sorts of sites shouldn't have sponsors, apart from at the very bottom. Um, okay, <laughs> Angry Birds, yay. Moving up to the kind of Let's look at the tickets. I do like the fact that you have the drop down menus. That works really, really well. So I can say latest buy tickets. So that's the main thing. Even though I think buy tickets should be at the top. Now, I don't like the fact that it takes me to this sort of screen that I have to log in either through Facebook or, you know, I'd rather see the, the tickets there and actually then go at the end. So that kind of does bring it down for me a little bit. But I really am a big fan of the kind of drop down menus. They're all clean, They're, it's instant as well, so it's not a, a waiting thing. You've got tools at the top, social media, uh, even at this part here, next match, I really like that and it does move, that is a nice touch. Now the news isn't at the front, like at the very front, I thought that would be a thing. Now I will say one thing when it comes to this, when you drop down and you have to click on it, I don't like that, I thought that maybe if I click the first one, it will take me there. Everything is kind of in order, everything is fine, even the font, not a huge, huge fan, but it will do for what it is. Everton gets a gorgeous five. We're now here at Leicester City. I really, really think that this is a nice website. I think this, it looks spot on. One thing I don't understand though, is why don't you keep things consistent? So you have a yellow bar here, then a turquoise there, black bars here, uh, and there's no color coding. So you think that if it is a part of a color code, you'd have it on the website straight away. Uh, going through the same sort of process with a lot of websites we've seen so far, it moves in. Looks really nice. Functionality, that's the one thing. Um, I do like the fact that this bar moves as well. It's a little bit animated, which I think is a nice touch. I am gonna have a look at where I wanna buy tickets. So it's at the top. It's directly at the top, and that's what I, I generally like. It takes you to a site which I think they could have used slightly better font. I don't like this font here, it doesn't work, and I think that you could easily have had these square blocks maybe kind of out a bit more. If you want to jump back to LCFC, uh, you can do. It also has like a live box coming up, so you can watch the match directly, and then you can move in. Pictures are fine. Click on the news. You have to kind of drop down. Now, when you move your mouse over this, Drops it fine. I think that if you click it though, I, that's really nice. So I'm gonna look at the latest news and then it kind of brings up. So let's have a look at this one. I like this. I think this is really, really nice. The fact that it comes out, that's very cool. So it, you know, you're not focused on all other things going on. If anything's happening in the background, the font is really nice and then you've got a big X if you want to close it there. With all of this, Leicester gets a nine. Liverpool is next, and I personally thought this would be a cleaner website. It feels very kind of squashed and compact, which I don't like. Why? One thing I would have thought is like when scrolling down is there's no match update. It doesn't tell you that there's here saying, hey, look at this. It just feels like it's advertisement, which I generally don't really like. I would have preferred to have a, this is here, this is here, uh, match times, little things like that. Even finding the drop down menu bars very cluttered. There's too much information for this one, especially if you hit fans, if I click on tickets. I do like the fact that it takes me straight to the tickets rather than I have to go and choose multiple things. Looking at it, I can click on different things and I can take it, click it and it takes me directly there. But it feels more kind of a blog. Like, I don't like this sort of <laughs> I, I think that that kind of ruins it because it's not even in the same, is it in the same? Like, it looks also like all the blog posts are completely different. This is what I'm not liking. It just feels very cluttered. Uh, There's too much news. Like, everyone likes news, but too much news? No, 
even when you click on it direct, I feel like all of these things are kind of so cluttered and I, I really don't like that. I would give this a five. Man City is the next one that we're looking at. And I've got to admit, it's very boring. And it's also presented by Wix. Even if they're sponsored by them, you generally would think that they would make the site look really decent. Uh, to me, this looks like someone has just, uh, like a fan has made this. It's dull, it's boring. There is not a lot about. The one thing I wanna look at is definitely like booking tickets. Now, when I look at the, the top, it just says tickets and hospitality. I generally would have just had booking tickets. The drop down menu is fine. So let's have a quick look before we do that. Like when you click on it, you know, it's fine. I would rather have like moving across. So when you're on there, you can see that is everything here. Let's click on this one. Um, again, we can see that there are loads of different teams buying the tickets. Again, you go through a different selection each time. It just always reminds me of a cinema <laughs> add to basket. Boom, tells you all the way through and that's absolutely fine. News at the front, it's fine. I wanna click on the latest news to see what we've got and then everything is quite easy. It brings it up quite nicely. I just generally think you could have done a bit more with your with the blog, but to be fair, it looks okay for what it is. It just it, I don't know, I find the website kind of really, really dull and really kind of boring. Like there's not a lot going on. Now the fact that it's powered by you know, Wix, you think that they would have, as I said, put a lot of effort into making this look good. They, they got a raw end of the deal. So for this one, Man City, you get a two. Man United is next. It again reminds me of a blog site. Why, uh, why do they all look like this? One thing that I kind of notice is this part here, the Sheffield United versus Man United. Three on three. This could have been at the top, I think, rather than the news. So looking at the drop down menu for functionality, jumping straight into that one, it kind of looks okay. It drops down, it tells me little things. I do like the fact that it all does change like the photos. Just kind of looking around. One thing as we scroll down is this giant big block here. Like I would have highly have moved the images up rather than just having them near the bottom. It just doesn't look appealing to me. I just really don't like it. So I'm now gonna click on tickets see what comes up. For amount of space you've got here, the tickets and hospitality could have been moved up and made bigger, but I literally have to scroll down. So I click on match tickets and it is, I mean, it tells me, it tells me all the prices, but I feel like this is jumping through way too many hoops. Obviously at the top, that's where you can buy your tickets, opens up in another tab. And then obviously you can click on, let's say go for Tottenham Hotspur. Where, where is all this? I, I don't care. I, I want to book my ticket with ease rather than just trying to navigate around and trying to find what I want. I thought looking at like find uh, find out more would take me to where I want to go. It just feels like this is a very complicated thing. Now I had a, a quick look that you have to zoom in and then select the ticket. That was such a pain. The next thing we want to look at is the news. It takes me directly to what I kind of want to see. I just think the whole layout. Now the blog, nice. The news, that's actually quite nice. But it just feels like to select certain things is a major pain. And the look of this website isn't what I kind of think is a great one. I think it's way too complicated. And I think that there's just way too much stuff. You get three Man United, a cheeky three. Newcastle is the one that I'm looking at. And I've got to admit, it looks a lot nicer, definitely better than Money United. The way the website, the look of it looks really slick and nice. That I like. I like this, the grids. I think each one is unique and it kind of brings it out, even though I kind of think that the colors could be different, but that could mean different things. I really like this whole thing in, it says like match starting. This I kind of generally think that a lot of other like websites should have, but I like it. I'm gonna look at my tickets. I don't like this big black square. I really don't. I think from what I had a look at, it's on a lot of them. Clicking on home tickets. I just wanna click on it. I think it's very smooth. Select, you know, it tells me what seats are available. And then I click into select. It just seems very kind of slick and easy to go through. That's what this needs. The only thing again is I do wish all these sites would just click back straight away. The main thing I'm looking now is the news. I like the consistency 
of these black like these blocks that is kind of really nice i just think it changes a little bit so i'm gonna look at this one like i think this could easily be kind of transparent uh, like a blur but i really like the way that the text is written out it's very easy to read and that's what i want from this one so i really do like the way that they've done this but for newcastle a six Norwich City. This is the one I loved as a kid way back when. So the look of the website to me is the nice yellow header at the top. Very bright, very colourful, very yellow in your face. The drop down menus, I do really, really like on this. This is nice. They've really done well with it. Although, it now feels when you get near to the bottom part that it's just all advertisement. The killers, uh, Westlife, and then guess who? <laughs> what? What? Buying the tickets. So I want to look at Home and Away. Home and Away. Home tickets. Quite simple to buy. Sold out. So this one, um, I can I can do it, even though it said sold out. But from what it looks like, it as you know, it drops down quite well. If you're doing it on a, a, I mean, I'm guessing mobile sites can be completely different. I just kind of really wish it was all dropped down. But it looks quite cool. It, it's very kind of straightforward after you get past. The whole click click. The next thing I want to look at is news. Drop sound menu, quite nice. Club news. I do want like the zoom in a little bit. So let's just click on this one. Brings you to it straight away. Nice. Very, well, very easy to read. Let's click on the next one. And there's quite a lot of text, but it's kind of readable very easily. I don't think it needs anything. Uh, I think it's absolutely fine the way it is. So Norwich, I'm gonna give you a four. We're on Sheffield United now. Now, I will say one thing. When I typed this into Google, two sites came up. There is the other site, which looks a bit weird, which doesn't tell you anything it's about the history. This is the main page. By the look of it right now, it looks very kind of dull. I don't like the fact that you have to register to watch clips. I think that you should be able to watch it straight away. Why it doesn't do this, I have no idea. Looking at the functionality, drops down menus, really nice, tells you exactly what it all is it's not cluttered at all but right now i want to buy my tickets online because football so a nice kind of really big like opening photo they look really nice very very professional you do kind of think though that you'd have tickets up here rather than halfway down the page or near the bottom should i say very simple you click where you want to be and then you go exactly where it is choose your seats add to basket sorted that's actually quite easy looking at the news i want to go to the latest as as we all do the blog looks it isn't really kind of written a lot but it's very good to di digest really quickly if you're on the go it's not the best website i would say i do like the fact that the photos move in that looks pretty easy it just feels very bland and nothing there sheffield i'm gonna give you a four Southampton is next and first of all what's up with this site I'm not a fan mainly because the bars are all down here that shouldn't be a thing normally at the top or underneath that's a lot better it just feels like there's uh, I don't know I, I don't know how to say it there is a lot of kind of clutter at the top the site looks okay to some degree with all these but it's something that I generally really don't like. Let's look at tickets. That's what we're here for. This I do like. This I actually think is really, really nice. I like the way it lights up and it's kind of easy enough to go to. So the site is manageable. It does tell you exactly what the price and this does look very similar to what we've seen already. I like the fact that you do, you kind of click in and it's straightforward, straight to it, tells you exactly where it is. Now, looking at here i want to look at the history so i'm guessing it is going to be saints live and then it takes me down to the main menu so i want to go and click on this one so i can read i like this this is really really nice i generally think that all the other sites should have something like this even though i think that this should be kind of more centered but for what it is, it literally tells me everything that I need to know. Kudos for doing something that not many of the other websites do. Southampton, gonna give you a five. 
Tottenham. Right, okay, so we're now looking here. This is a really, really bad site, I think. This, the look of it, the layout is something horrible. It feels very kind of bland. Like, even these things here are not what I wanna see. Now, if you've just come to this website and you don't know much about where to go, you're gonna be like, oh, there's nothing. There's nothing about tickets. Until you click on this bar, which then drops an okay looking bar. I generally think that this should have been down here rather than, so like literally right here. Take away this and then replace the bar so you've got everything as normal. It just looks really, really bad. I'm gonna go buy my tickets. It does take me there quite quickly. But again, looking at it, I don't know what is here. It takes you to sign in, not a big fan. Do think that you should be able to go forward without having to log in. Like most of the websites where you've got a cart where you can go guest log in and you see it all the way at the end and then gives you the, uh, the option. Now I want to look at the news of the club as we've been doing it. And again, I really don't like this layout. I generally think this is one of the worst layouts that I've seen. I'm hoping that if I click here, even looking at the blog post, what, what's up with these, this graphic? I can imagine like why they would be here if the graphic moved in and out rather than just a photo. I find that very kind of long-winded to kind of read where other sites have done it quite short. I don't really like this and I don't think that this is nice either. Tottenham, I'm sorry, you're getting a two. That, that's all you're getting. Watford, right, here we go in Watford. You're pretty much just like Tottenham. <laughs> you just copy. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too much into this one because it is very similar to Tottenham and I'm not like that. The main thing is it here is like tickets should have been up here. The fact is that I can't even click on your tickets means that you you guys aren't the best. Let's look at news and video. Very similar. It, it, okay, it's a bit better than Tottenham. This I like. It just it just feels way too long for me to read. Let's see if we can buy tickets. I uh, can't even buy tickets. Sorry, uh, Watford. You get a one. West Ham. Right, let's have a cheeky look at you. I like that. I think the dropping down of the menu is really nice. It's really fast, so it's not slow. That is good. The overall look of the website, I generally think all this could have been spread out. It looks very kind of pushed together and to one side. I think that maybe you could have done your sponsors kind of spread them out rather than being kind of in one together. Let's go and buy tickets. That's the main thing. Let me look at buying the first one for Arsenal. Why? <laughs> Oh, why? Oh, it's just, I don't want to have to sign up. I want to buy tickets, do a guest logout, and then come back into it. Let's just generally make sure it's not on all the others. Everything else sold out. Not a big fan of that one. Click on the news. So looking at this, looks really nice. There's just too much information. I would much prefer, much prefer it to be this, this size, because that is more like bite-sized chunks. Just means that if I'm on a commute, it's gonna take a bit longer. The functionality of the website looks fine. Tickets, mm -hmm. and the overall news, okay. So West Ham, I'm gonna give you a three. Last one, Wolves. Now, I am very impressed with their website. I love the animations. Even if you load the site, I really like the, the way the animation just comes in. Looking at just, it's it's so sleek, it's so nice. Even the way that they've got the photos and the the blog posts looks ridiculously nice. It's, it's the best one out of the lot. Even the drop down menu, even though it's kind of big, I would have had it down one side, but you know, I want to have a look. There seems to be quite a lot of information. I want to go and buy tickets, which is at the top. I would have had it in the menu. Even the website looks really nice. Just the, the look of it. Home games, buy here. Don't let me down, Wolves. Don't let me down. It's easy. It's just literally how many, add to basket, done. That is the easiest one that I've seen so far. I think it's awesome just the way that they've done it. And they've given you an option to go back. Whoever did your website, I like. So I'm gonna look back at the news. The functionality is amazing. I like the pop-up, I love the box. It's just the way, how easy it is. It's bite-sized kind of information. It's 
and click this one. And again, like I feel like I could read it and not feel bored. This to me is a ridiculously great website. Functionality is great. Let's have a quick look here. Boom, and it just, it just moves in so well, so well. Wolves, I'm giving you a 10. I'd give you higher, but you get a 10. You have the best website of all the Premier League teams. So, there we go. And there we go. We've looked at all the websites. We've ranked them accordingly. Now, the main question is, what do you think? Do you agree with what we say or do you not? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And in that case, I'll see you in the next video.